and welcome to another Terrain Tuesday. As it's Halloween month, it's a special spooky themed project. We are going to be making some gallows and gibbets for your terrain tables. Uh, th these should be good for anything, especially Warhammer, I guess. Maybe even Frostgrave, things like that. Um, Mordheim comes to mind. Um, these are surprisingly easy to make but really look good on the tabletop so let's uh let's get crafting Ooh. so the actual main post for both the hanging man and the gibbet is going to make from the same way um it's going to get two bits of six mil um foam and you're just going to come in, cut one bit that's seven inches long and one bit that's um, inches seven centimeters long, and one bit that's four centimeters long. Come in with some sort of inscribing tool type thing and just put a little wood grain effect into it, into all of it. On the four mil bit, you also want, just want to do a bit of a uh, try and some sort of texture circle almost, I guess. But just rough it up on the ends. And you should end up with something at this stage looks something like that. Now what we're gonna do is just glue it together. So I'm just gonna use some super glue and glue that to there. For the cross beam, uh, just get a strip of six mil foam that's about three or four mil thick. And all you're gonna do is just sort of put it somewhere like that. Mark along with some sort of pencil. I'm just going to cut this out. So, uh, before we glue it in, I'm uh, just going to texture it up. Next up, I'm going to want to make, make a base for it. Uh, for this, just going to draw an oval shape. Um, uh, let's have a look just done this by eye so it's going to be roughly just under five centimeters wide and eight centimeters long uh, just cut that out and once you've cut this out you can use it for a template for making the others so quickly cut this out you can put it back on here use that to draw around Cut out or as many as you want to make. Glue it on. Uh, it probably won't stay up, but it doesn't matter at this stage. Just gonna stick that on there. And then what we're gonna do is come in with this, which is uh, poly filler, ready made filler. Uh, I think it's back or in America. I'm just gonna put a blob on and we're just gonna sort of if it will hold it in. Spread it out somewhat thinly. We just want to bump the uh, area up around the uh, the hanging post. I'm trying to smooth it off on the edges. Like so, and just going to totally leave this to dry. So, uh, it'll be tomorrow. Come back to it. Next up, take some uh, thin bit card. This is like 300 G GSM, sort of printer card. You can use serial box card if you want. Kind of so it's about two, three mil thick and just wrap it around and fold it. The easiest way to do this, once you've wrapped it round, bend it back and I'll tell you where you've got to cut it. Get some uh, PVA glue. And then just glue it on. You may need to hold it in place for a few moments while the uh, glue dries. Next, take some uh, plastic rod, this couple mil in diameter. And just cut up 
sort of one mil chunks of it. sides and just come in and stick two bits on either side we can't really see that in but something like that so whilst we're waiting for all that to dry we can make the actual hanging skeletons now, um, now years ago I had these, got these Warhammer Games Workshop skeletons. These are from like the 80s, and about 20 years ago, God, so about well, I bought these about 30 years ago, and about 20 years ago I sort of put them on these paper. No, that's not Games Workshop box, uh, paper bits. And I used them as I don't know skeletal objection markers or whatever I don't know I'm just carefully peeling them off there so I might as well reuse these and what we're going to do is we're going to have this as our hanging skeleton um, I wouldn't mind I'm not too sure if this is going to be I might have to remove his head a bit as well because I want it sort of bending over that'll do so I'm going to have to do a bit of super gluing he's missing the foot but I don't mind that too much um, because it could have rotted off, I guess, or he could not have had a foot. But what I want to do is squeeze his legs together. If he does have a two feet, perhaps you can super glue it in to hold them together. It's going to squeeze his legs in. I may have to remove his head totally, so that's fine. But his arms, what I've done is I've got this arm here. Uh, and I've got this arm here, which is the left, which is the right. Yeah, so this arm had a weapon in it, and I've just cut away the weapon. And all I'm going to do is glue them so the arms go behind the back. So I'm joining these arms up like that, so they're in the back. So that's uh, And there is the uh, happy hanging chappy. Uh, yeah, trying to straighten his legs out a bit, but I think that'll do. That'll look like he's hanging. Uh, next up, we want to get the actual noose. So for this, we want to get some sort of twine like this, a uh, couple of mil thick. Uh, all you want to do now is come in, take a bit off, and just cover it in PVA glue. Uh, this will strengthen it, make it stick up upright, and also be good for the next bit. It won't be this long, but the end will be cutting it down when it dries. And then now you've got all glue around your fingers, so it's going to be really difficult. 
to come round to his neck part and twist. I've only just still glued this, so I'm hoping his head will probably pop off. And twist it like so. And hopefully, come in with some super glue. Hasn't already sealed, which it hasn't. Put a bit on the back of his head. We are just going to attach this to the back of his head while still twisting the noose. And hopefully, just hold it there. No idea it's going off. Then you have a noose, and then, yeah, as this is drying, it's going stiffer. You have a little, little hangman noose. Uh, you are going to want that to let that to dry. Uh, but while that is drying, we can make the uh, actual gibbet. I'll leave that there. Uh, here's one, sort of a better one I made earlier. You can see him, and I'll just cut that to about that length. We're going to paint these before we put them on. And I quite like this rubbish paint effect I got here. He looks. I'm not too sure if I'm going to leave that. <laughs> I might leave that like that. It kind of looks like an old. Not bad for a paint effect from the late 80s. <laughs> I might leave that, I'm not too sure. It looks these... I don't know. That's the one I've got there, do I like that one? No, I'm going to paint it. I am going to paint them. Stop being lazy. <laughs> I bet I won't get this... I think I'll go heavy with the uh, skeletal horde. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's actually drying quite quick, so what we can do is, when it's dry, drop the rope to about there, and just seal the ends a bit more PVA, just stop them from fraying, and now I'll leave that to dry. Now I'll paint the entire thing in a dark sort of brown, I'm using uh, burnt umber, just an acrylic paint, if you've only got model paints and you feel free to use one of them including the uh, including the uh, the base here so Once it's painted dark brown, uh, you can come in with some, uh, I'm using Steel Legion Drab, and just dry brush it all over base and wood, and wood areas. So what I've done as well, I've made a sort of sitting down skeleton. This will go in the actual um, gibbet when we make that. Uh, and I've just undercoated them all white and we're just going to paint them and for this just going to use a uh, skeleton horde contrast paint just for quickness on the bones just going to paint the, uh, the noose a uh, brown colour To cover the base in PVA, you may need to get some water to sort of spread it around easy. Using uh, your flock of choice, I'm using Woodland Scenic sort of green blend here, uh, covering flock. Um, one thing I would say is you don't want your flock to be too bright, being this meant to be a sort of grim dark gallows, so you're not having too bright and cheerful. Uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't cover it all, some of the brown showing through would be acceptable. Uh, and just leave that to dry before we put some more sort of longer grass around here. Put some glue around the uh, base. I'm going to come in with this um, long grass here and cut some some of it off and just apply it around the uh, apply it around the base. 
quite well on the base. Exposed, can add some bit of static grass there just to give it like a bit of long grass growing around the uh, post. Next up, just paint the uh, this bit at the top here uh, a dark metallic color. I'm using that lead belcher here. Feel free to use whatever dark metallic color you have. Next up. Take three strips of uh, one mil chipboard that are uh, about eight and a half inches long, and you know, quarter of a eight and a half, eight and a half centimeters long, and about quarter of a centimeter wide, and sort of just begin to bend them over like that, like that, and like that. And we're gonna find the center spot, a bit of super glue in, find the center spot here. Glue it in like so, and then when that's done, we'll glue the other bit in. Take another bit that's exactly the same uh, size, and we're just going to glue the edges to make it into a ring. This could be take some time and be a bit tricky but yeah, super glue. With the ring complete you can sort of put it over and see roughly where it's going to go. It's going to be there and then trying to remember that. It's coming with some PVA is going to be best for this. Just a blob on each part. Be a lot just make it easier for to in the next part if this is all held into place. I'm just gonna put the thread this down into place. Wipe off any excess with your fingers. Position them, push them on where you want them. Like so and we're just gonna let that sort of dry off. Make another ring that's six and a half uh, centimeters long. Gonna need a circle that's like 25 uh, mil diameter. The easiest way for this is just to grab a 25 mil base. Draw around it, cut it out. Next, take a, another strip of card that's um, slightly thicker than the ones you have been making, say half a centimeter and make sure it goes round the outside edge, so in this case it's going to be 9 centimeters, and we're just going to glue that round the outside edge. Probably best to use something like super glue for that. It's why we're waiting for things to dry, you might want to just come in sort of, some of the bottom bits will be slightly longer due to the way we're going to make it, so if you see any that sort of seem really really long, it's going to be a couple, just cut them. We might as well glue the uh, last ring on top ring so it's going to be the same principle as before let's glue around all the air uh, where it's going to go and just uh, slot it on um, with it all dry paint it silver uh, this bolt gun metal and now just grab some uh, crackling flesh shade and just add some uh, rust bits over it so I'll just do rust. Um possibly can use the technical rust stuff they do, but it's a cheap and easy way if you can't don't have that. Prepare a bit of string how you did the others, so PVA, and then just paint it brown like you did with the others. And I've made this over large so I can cut it down in a minute. Plus it makes painting easier. So I can just 
I mean, paint it a dark brown. And when that's dry, I can chop it up. Now, while this is drying, you'll notice that it's in, still in two separate bits, and our man here isn't in it. Because you want to place him in before we glue it together. So when it's all dry, we'll do that. So what I'm doing is um, just sort of roughly, haven't glued it in yet, just sort of roughly trying to position him. One thing I'm trying to do is get all the seams all lined up at the back and sort of roughly working out where I want him. So it's going to be about there. I kind of want his legs dangling out so it looks like he's sitting down. I want his arms poking out like that, but I really want his head sticking out. So I don't know if it's possible. Let's try and get his head sticking out a bit. Probably not. But anyway, things I want to do is oh, maybe like that. Something like that. Then can I get this in? A little bit of trial and error. His foot may prove to be a bit of a nightmare. I think I might be able to do it. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, glue this in off camera. I'll just super glue it in. So I'm going to glue him to this bar. And then put little blobs of super glue. I probably use PVA actually for this on these bits here and glue this in. Now I'm just going to trim one end of this and glue it on. When it's glued properly, trim the other end and stick it to its uh, gallow. A use for the uh, Citadel paint um, model holder with the arms just hold using that to hold the uh, string in place while it dries you can now uh, glue the, one, the hangman into the uh, bottom of the gallows the super glue hold it in place 